Hey, good morning. This morning I woke up early and continued reading the Bible. And I was thinking about what we did yesterday. I'm here in another country running the Jesus Clinic with the people of Vision Explorer. And yesterday we saw many salvations, many hearts, and many lives set free, many miracles. We are still gathering the testimonies but we were able to be used by God to bless many people here. Today this morning as I woke up, I saw in the New Version Bible app the, the verse of the day was that He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's that he God's heart for everyone. Psalm 137 verse 3 that He will heal the so today, even as I continue to read the book of Proverbs, I hear the Lord saying that He is here to heal your broken heart, that He wants to minister to your heart today. We see in Proverbs 15, verse 13, A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. Then, in verse 15, we read, all the days of the afflicted are evil, but he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Then, in verse 20, the light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. This reminds me of the verse says that Jesus spoke to the disciples in the upper room in John. It says, This I have spoken to you, that your joy may be full. So the Lord Himself has given us a new heart, a heart that is full of joy. Notice in this verse that I read before, Verse 15, all the days of the afflicted are evil, but he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. It does not say he who has a merry heart has a continual feast. It says he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Today I declare to you because of Jesus' work on the cross, you have a new heart, you have a merry heart. Your joy is full because you have received it from Jesus Christ. Because you have a merry heart, you shall have a continual feast and you shall have a cheerful countenance, your bones shall be healthy and you shall be so well because your heart 